called Miss Stewart of Grantley, and it's a Streth's Bay. Uh, the Streth's Bay is a tune kind of unique to Scottish music. It's one of my favorite kinds of tunes, and um, the Streth's Bay is associated with dancing. Um, there's actually two different tempos that a Streth's Bay can be played. Uh, I'm going for kind of the slower tempo, not ton slower, but a little bit slower on this one, uh, the style that would be used for Scottish country dancing. The other style would be for Cape Breton step dancing, and we'll hit that in another lesson. Um, but this tune, uh, I'll break it down. I'm going to play it through one time for you, play the A part. And uh, it might be something that you're kind of unfamiliar with as far as the rhythm is concerned. There's uh, all these kind of snappy dotted bowings. <laughs> And you can look at the Scottish Groove tutorial to get uh, some ideas about how to do these. Um, but one thing you should just think about as you're learning this tune is that you don't want it to be stiff. So you don't want this sound. And sometimes when you first start playing Struth's Bays, that is a route that you might want to take. But think about having a lot of air in your bow. And kind of shaping your bow like this as you're playing, rather than just straight across. Um, so here's the A part of Miss Stewart of Grantley. Right up front, we're starting on our open A, and you're going to do a Scottish snap right there. Play that, and then crash down on the C sharp. Then you're going to go up from there, as you're playing that up bow, you're actually going to do your first slur, you're going to slur back into the A. And you can give a little swell. Da-dum. So you have. Then you'll go straight into your B, and, and you're going to outline a G chord now. So here's Miss Stewart of Grantley with uh, all of the Scottish grace notes added, um, just to make it a lot more fun. So we'll start out right away with the snap. And that phrase. We can do both a flick and a waterfall. Uh, the waterfall is kind of like a flick, but you're falling out of the note. And as always, you can look at the grace note tutorial to figure out how to do these things um, in more detail. But the flick. And the waterfall sound like that. So you can try that. Then your next phrase. And we talked a little bit about making this uh, like a cut here. So really try, now that you've got the notes down, try to get this sound. You can practice first just doing it without any notes. Or you can try that since you're switching strings. And then put the notes in. Then, one more thing you can do when you get to that G is add a hammer-on. So you're really scooping into that note. In Strathspey's, uh, 
I barely play any just straight on notes. Uh, I usually try to hammer on or flick or do something that gives it that extra oomph. Uh, so we have... <laughs> When you hit that G, you're hammering on, but you're also hitting the open G. So that next phrase, you can add the E in there. You could even give it a little rhythmic. Kind of a little bounce on that C sharp. Before we were playing that waterfall there. Or the... F before we were playing that flick there. But maybe this time around, just to mix it up a little bit. You can do that, and then you'll hold that C sharp, go into the open E, 